Madam Speaker, I would like to refer the Honourable Member to the ad cry I made to Parliamentary Question B970 on the 12th of December 2017, wherein I informed the House that the contract for the repair to embankment on motorway M3 at Ripai project was awarded to Transinvest Construction on the 28th of March 2017 for a sum of 283 million. 556,663 rupees. With regard to part A of the question, I'm informed by the Road Development Authority that the works are being supervised by the RDA officers, namely Mr. Prayag, assisted by Mr. Nabi Bakas, divisional manager, with the expert assistance of the Korea Expressway Corporation. Regarding part B of the question, the work started on the 9th of May 2017 and were contractually scheduled to be completed on the 5th of March 2018. However, as stated in my reply to Parliamentary Question B74 on the 3rd of April 2018, during execution of the works in July 2017, after heavy torrential rains, cracks appeared on the diversion road and on the slopes on the mountain. The works had to be stopped and consequently the RDA took the decision to implement additional monitoring devices, namely piezometers and inclinometers, to confirm any movement of the underlying strata along the stretch of the repair works. Readings from the existing inclinometers showed potential deep-seated movement, and this was supported in December 2017 by Dr. Kim, a geotechnical expert assigned by the Korea Expressway Corporation. In January 2018, the RDA had recourse to the services of Professor Magnon, who highlighted that the problem was multifaceted in nature. In fact, there is not only the issue of embankment failure, but added to this, there is the risk of instability of the slope itself, as well as the underlying soft strata weakened by underground waters brought about by the heavy rainfall. I further inform that on the recommendation of Professor Magnon, the RDA has enlisted the services of CEREMA, the Centre d'études et d'expertise sur les risques, l'environnement, la mobilité et l'aménagement, a French public body specialized in such works to undertake the reinforcement designs. At the request of CEREMA, further specialized tests such as pressure meter tests, water levels have been undertaken and the results have been sent to CEREMA to be validated and to be used in the reinforcement design. The CEREMA design is expected to arrive in the days to come. Upon receipt of the final design, the RDA will work on the cost estimates and the best way forward. Professor Mayan is expected in Mauritius on the 2nd of May, and he will present the final design, and the works will start then. It is expected that these works will be completed before the end of the year. I am proposing that a workshop be organized under the AGs of the Ministry of Education and the University of Mauritius on the Terre Rouge Verdun case, where Professor Mayon will present this case as a case study. Yes, Madam Speaker, I have three questions for part A, B, and C, respectively, in the main question. And the first one is about... Question one by one. Yes, about supervising engineer. In his reply, the Honorable Minister mentioned about Mr. Nabi Bakas. Is he not the same engineer that was suspended in January 2015 for the failure of the road? And does the Honorable Minister find this to be in order, or dare I say the word ethical, for him to be back on this same project again? No, the, we have, the project in fact is being, he's the site, he's the site engineer. The project is monitored by Dr. Mutana, by the whole RDAT. Yes, but we have also Mr. Payan. We have also all the Korea Expressway Corporation. It's a team of about 10 people. Uh, the embankment failure was first observed on 18th January 2015, yes. more than three years ago. And now we are in 2018. It has taken much longer for us to even know how to repair this road that it has actually taken us to construct the road. Can I? No, 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 no. no. Please, no comment. Oh, the, the minister has said time and again. Madam, I'm replying to cross remark from the Honorable Minister. The Minister has time and again said that the road failed because the contractor and the consultant failed in their duties. Not the government. Uh -huh. 
not the minister. You should be clear because now can I ask the Honourable Minister when is it that this road is going to be back in use? Now, Madam, Madam Speaker, this is not at all of our making. First of all. The second thing is, you know, when the crux, the first crux, um, enlightening the Honourable Member, the first crux appeared in 2012. And instead of stopping the works and doing all the tests that we are doing now to understand, what did they do? They stopped the project on the left and started building a road on the right. <laughs> Yes, and that second, second time. So all that had not been done, and the, the test that we are, we are taking three years, I totally agree. Mais j'ai toujours dit une chose, madame, la présidente. Nous n'avons pas droit à l'erreur. Moi, je ne peux pas faire une erreur. Il faut trouver la solution finale. Il faut que cette route soit une route qui était aménagée pour les 20, 30 prochaines années. Il faut une solution finale. Ce n'est pas une question de semaines ou une question de mois. We have to find the right solution. And we have found the solution. And I'm inviting the honorable member, who is a competent engineer, to this forum, because we have been able now to find out that the best solution is a combination of a, of a horizontal filling together with piling and the road being built on it. And I think he will agree with me that this is the solution for that particular terrain. Now, it takes three years. I totally agree. But we have to do what has to be done. And we, we no, 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 I, again, I say, no, 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 no. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, yes, true enough, uh, the contractor did inform the consultant, but the in consultant was indifferent about the cracks. This is what the facts are. Now, Professor Banjo has been recommending files about 100 or so. Can I ask the Honorable Minister, in addition to the 283 million rupees that we have already spent, how much this pile will cost? We, because we don't know the depth, the size, and the type of equipment that is going to be used for these piles. Well, we know more or less it is between 100 to 120 piles. We know that the depth, uh, it will be 40 meters. And uh, we are going to have the answers in the weeks to come. But I have told Professor Mayon, and I've talked to the people of Serema. <coughs> I've told them that we want to have the best solution, but it should be value for many. And I, I cannot give a figure, but in about 15 days, we should be able to give a figure. In fact, on this uh, workshop on the, on the third at the University of Mauritius, you'll have the figure. And I think that it is going to be reasonable, but what we want to do is it has to be uh, value for many. I come another aspect of this TAO where the road, public safety, security of this road is very, very precious. It's a, it's a link road which is uh, much used by the public. Can the minister inform the house whether it's not time to have a reassessment on the security aspects uh, which are being placed where there are diversions? Because we, we, have used, we are using this road, we see that there are a lot of loopholes, and it's time to have a fresh assessment with regard to public safety, security, signage, and other uh, types of uh, equipment to prevent accidents. Yeah, the Honourable Member is right. And, on the, and at the same time, we are also repairing what has collapsed on the other side of Ripai, which was built before 2014. This is costing us another 100 million. And there were works which were carried out before 2014. Now, as regards to the security uh, issue, I, I, I agree with the Honourable Member. We are doing a, an audit, and there was an accident uh, from the Valto roundabout to Oster Rouge. And we have now uh, set up the, uh, we have put uh, speed cameras there. Yeah. Next question, Robert B254. Madam Speaker, following the embankment failure, the board of the develop, the board Wrote, the board of the RDA set up an investigative committee chaired by Met Avinash Sanasi along with three assessors, namely Mr. Prayag, Mr. Ramjin, and Mr. Ramlagan, to investigate into various major projects implemented by the RDA since 2010 to 2014, including the Terouge Verdun Lake Road.
Due to the complexity of the investigations involved, the final report is expected at the beginning of next week in May. Furthermore, a mise en demeure was served on the 30th of November 2015 to the consultant of the project, Aegis BCEOM International, to incur the cost of repairs to the Terre Rouge Verde League Road. I would like to refer the Honourable Member to the reply made on Parliamentary Question B137 and B429 on the 4th of April 2017 and the 13th of June 2017, respectively. I inform the House that taking into consideration the complexities that is technical, contractual, legal and financial of the case, a technical team had in the meantime been set up by the RDA to identify any potential claim relevant to the Terre Rouge Verdun Leak Road. I am informed by the RDA that a technical audit report of the failures has accordingly been submitted in May 2017. Same then will have been forwarded to the State Law Office for views regarding any potential legal claims to be taken. The SLO then, after review of the documents available, has replied in October 2017, advised the RDA that further detailed technical investigations needed to be undertaken to identify the exact cause of the collapse of the embankment. The RDA has accordingly initiated all the tests that we have, I mentioned, uh, ARQ, JICA, KEC, Professor Mayon, and I gave a detailed report of all these tests on the 3rd of April 2018. And all the, uh, the experts' reports have now been submitted. Professor Mayon is, is expected to come, and his report will also be an input in the, in, the, uh, which in, the, in the file that we are going to send to the SLO. A comprehensive advice may then be expected on the legal stand to be taken against the company which carried out the geotechnical and civil engineering works and of course the initiator, in, initial contractor on the basis of La Garantie des Sénats. Uh, again, Madam Speaker, uh, 283 million and the piling works will cost a lot of money, maybe a few hundred million more. Can I ask the Honourable Minister whether every effort is being made to claim all this money from other parties than having to meet it from the government coffers itself. Is that, is that a fact, Honourable Minister? Is this the effort that is being conducted right now? Yeah, you're totally, you're totally right. Uh, the company which did the tests, they were supposed to do the test and the design, so they fail in the test and they fail in the design. Now, the company which built the, the, which built the road, they failed as regards to the Garantie des Sénales, that in, uh, an ouvrage d'art de cette, de cette envergure ne peut pas ne pas avoir une garantie décennale de 10 ans. So we are working on both, but we have, first of all, we should know who caused la faute, qui a commis la faute, and then the quantum of damages. And the quantum of damages will in include uh, not only the cost of the repairs, but also the loss of use, because it's a loss of use of a motorway by a, by, by a whole country for, for a number of years. Yes. I, I'm happy with the answer of the Honourable Minister that loss of use will be claimed as well. But I, can I ask, impress on the Honourable Minister, because in such matters, time is of the essence, that we file this claim as soon as possible, because the more we go in time, the more the risk to bear cost will be on the side of the government. I will certainly do that, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Madam. Can the Honourable Minister inform the House if the consultant was sued, and if not, why not? The consultant? No, the, no, no, we will sue now. <laughs> One last question, Madam Speaker. As regards the retention money payable to the contractor, has all this been disbursed, or we still have some money left there? Uh, I'll have to check. I'll have to check. 